The 2 meters long 15 kilograms beam in figure 1 is hinged at its left end. It is falling, rotating clockwise under the influence of gravity. And the figure shows its position at three different times. We are going to analyze the effect of the gravitational torque for the upper position, middle position, and lower position shown in this figure. First, for part A, what is the gravitational torque on the beam about an axis through the hinge end when the beam is in the upper position? Express your answer in Newton meters. So from this question, we already know that we are searching for the torque produced on the beam by the effect of gravity. We assume that the mass distribution in this beam is uniform. It is given that the total length of the beam is 2 meters, and that's a fixed measurement. The red imaginary lines are a reference for us to identify the right triangle that has an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal, as we can see from this picture. The beam's geometric center is located 1 meter to the right of the hinged end, as we can see. This is important because the effect of gravity is going to take place at the geometric center, since this beam is assumed to be uniformly distributed. The hypotenuse of the green triangle represents the radius from the hinge end to the place where the force is applied, that's the center of mass. I made a bigger copy of the green triangle to have a better view. We can see that the gravity acts directly on the center of mass and it's going completely downwards. It is important to remember that the beam's mass is 15 kilograms. Then the force of gravity, that's mg, is equal to 15 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second square. That's the acceleration of gravity. And we get that the force applied by gravity is 147 newton. And this force is going to be applied at the center of mass. I just changed the color of the radius from the hinge end to the center of mass for black color, as you can see, gravity completely downwards. This right triangle has 20 degrees above the horizontal. It also has 90 degrees because it's a right triangle. And from this, we can calculate 20 degrees plus 90 degrees plus theta is equal to 180. Theta is 70 degrees. 70 degrees is the angle between the radius and the force of gravity. This is important because torque is defined as the magnitude of the radius multiplied by the magnitude of the force multiplied by the sine of theta that's the angle between the radius and the force from this we have that 1 is the magnitude of the radius times 147 that's the magnitude of the force times sine of 70 it's equal to negative 138 newtons meters the negative sign denotes that the torque is trying to twist the beam in a clockwise direction. Clockwise is negative by convention and counterclockwise is positive by convention. For part B, what is the gravitational torque on the beam about an axis through the hinge end when the beam is at the middle position? Express your answer in Newton meters. So now, as you can see, the center of mass is still in the center, one meter from the hinged end but the beam is in a horizontal position. The beam's mass is still 15 kilograms. The force of gravity is the same, 147 newtons. But as we can see, the angle between the radius and the force of gravity now is 90 degrees. We know that torque is magnitude of the radius multiplied by magnitude of the force times the sine between the radius and the force. The torque is at its maximum. We get that torque is negative 147 newtons meters. This is the highest torque that we can get for this case. Remember that because the torque is trying to twist the beam in a clockwise direction, we have a negative torque. They got negative 150 newton meters in the answer because of the number of significant figures that they were asking for. But we know that our answer is valid and is still more precise. For part C, what is the gravitational torque on the beam about an axis through the hinge end when the beam is at its lower position. Express your answer in newton meters. We know that the mass is the same, 15 kilograms. The center of mass is still in the same place, one meter from the hinge end. 
and the force produced by gravity on the center of mass is the same, is 147 newtons. What's different is the angle between the radius and the force of gravity. As we can see, there is a 45 degrees below the horizontal, as shown in this figure. I am going to use this visual guide to show you how the angle is with respect to the force. The red line represents the radius, and you can see the arrow that's going downwards, that's the force of gravity. We can see where 45 degrees is located in this picture. Now let me do a small copy of the line where the force is intersecting. We can see that between the horizontal and the force of gravity, there is a 90 degrees angle. If we compare this copy with the first picture, we can infer that the angle between the radius and the force is 45 degrees. Because we already know that one of the angles is 45, and 45 plus 45 is equal to 90. The angle between the radius and the force is 45 degrees. From this, torque is equal to 1 meter times 147 newtons times sine of 45. When we compute this with the calculator in degree mode, we get that the torque is negative 103.9 newtons meters. The answer given was negative 100 newtons meters because they're using a different number of significant figures. Now let's do a brief summary. The gravitational torque for the upper position is negative 138 newtons meters. The torque for the middle position is negative 147 newtons meters. And for the lower position is negative 103.9 newtons meters. We can see that the highest torque possible is when the beam is in the middle position. This happens because the angle between the radius and the force of gravity is 90 degrees. And we know that the sine of 90 is equal to 1. Then the highest torque that we can achieve in this case is in the middle position. Ok guys, I hope that this was useful. Remember to like, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep it going guys.